there is a problem and that problem did not uh, start it now that problem started in the time that God called Adam and the time that God called his people out of Egypt let's go to Psalm 78 Psalm 78 the first 40 I want you to I want you to 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 listen and read with me carefully Psalm 78 40 Psalm 78 40 in daytime also he led them with a pillar of cloud and all the night with a light of fire 41 you just continue till I say stop and time a time 40 go go back they how often they defied and rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert 41 and time again, time and time again, they turned back and tempted God, provoking and incensing the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not seriously the miracles of the working of His hand, nor the day when He delivered them from the enemy. Give me the King James 40 again. How often did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? I'm going to come to the word grief. That's why I want you to, know, to see it in another translation. Yeah, they turned the back and tempted God and limited. You see that? Limited the Holy One of Israel. I didn't see it in the Amplified. That's why I asked you to go. They limited the Holy One of Israel. They remember not His hand, not the day when He delivered them from their enemy. 43. How He had wrought His signs in Egypt and His wonders in the field of Zoan. This unlimited God. Give me verse 14 again. I like that. In daytime, also, he led them with a cloud, cloud, Vulcan, cloud, and all the night, stay there, preach with me, don't preach by yourself, and all the time, all the night, with a light of fire. You have to understand, this is God Almighty. In these days, we don't really see these things. That God would show a sign by the cloud so that the people would know God is with us. And at light, at night, that cloud will chase into light. And the Bible says, and still they tested, provoked, grieved, and limited God. Can you imagine standing before this great Red Sea? You're born, you're young, you're old, and looking at your enemies, Pharaoh and his, his soldier, and Moses put his staff, and this great, deadly Jugu Jugu river just split it in two and while you're walking in it you're like father don't let it god don't let it fall on me and two million people alive saw this powerful unlimited mighty god working on behalf of them and still 
Some years later, they didn't believe him. My God, my God. That's why God was very angry with them and killed all of them in the desert. Only Joshua and Caleb. I, I want you to have this imagination. And maybe for you, it seems like God didn't do something great for you. But these people saw the hand of God. The Bible said they vexed the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember His power. They, the day He redeemed them from the oppression. The day He displaced His miracle signs in Egypt. His wonders in the region of Shoan. Yet, they turned back and tempted God. King James 41 and limited the Holy One of Israel. Give me verse 41. They limited. First they tempted them, turned back, provoking King James and the word incensing means limited the, one, the Holy One of Israel. <laughs> Apostle what are you trying to tell us? We are just the same. God is still all powerful. God is still almighty. But we limit him because we do not believe. We tempt God. We fix God. We, we challenge God. The Bible said we turn our back to God. Some people I know that were in church went back to their bonuma. Some people that has different things in their life don't come back to church. And what they do not understand, without faith it's impossible to please God. The people of Israel didn't believe. The Bible said that God, God, God Almighty, hmm, He was not happy with them. They limited Him. In this context, we can say Israel diminished their expectation of our unlimited God. Diminish. They, they didn't have an expectation. They, they, they saw the light, they saw the cloud, but still they didn't believe that He could do something for them. One time they were murmuring and, 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 and saying, we have to go back to Egypt. We want to go back to Egypt. We're tired to eat the same manna. And the Bible said that God sent dogs for them. But God was so angry, He gave them the dogs, the dogs, Chicken, and while they were still eating that, he started killing some of them. You have to imagine. God was feeding them. I, I don't know if you really study, study it in Psalm 78, Psalm 77. The Bible said that the, the, their clothes were growing with them. Their clothes, so if they were a young man, they didn't need other clothes. The clothes was always beautiful and was growing with them. That's powerful. I would like to have a cloth that I don't have to change. It's growing with me. I would tell the Lord, give me this clothes and I will wear it all the time. And it's growing with me. Amen. The Bible said the shoes on their feet, the sandals, was also growing with them 40 years. That's powerful. That's the unlimited God that we are serving. Can I hear an amen? Can somebody give this Lord, this God that we serve, a clap of a tonight? Powerful, mighty, all knowing, wonderful, glorious, holy. 
That's the God that we serve. An unlimited, everlasting, mighty God. 